how you all doing? This is our lunch hour. Life in a lovely kitchen. How is your day going? I know he's been very, very, I mean, the situation in this country for today, I don't think it's only for the top. Everyone is feeling it. But let me tell you, you cannot kill yourself. Make the best part of every situation and play safe. Welcome to the Kindly Crowner Show. Welcome to our lunch, our life. See, they were making rice. Let me wash my hands quickly. So, you know, when you get to go to motivational places, most times we know our problems, even before we see the doctors. Most times you know your problem before you see the doctor. So when you go to the man or the woman that will tell you, you already know the, the problem. So today, we're just here to spice your noon, your afternoon, and make you feel okay. So we're making rice. I don't know what name. We're using, this is, um, you know the leaf you used to make, Ishewu? Uh, what's it called? Ishewu. Uh, Oziza. This is Oziza leaf. So we want to make it Oziza rice. <laughs> So we have, let's just, just go straight, you know, to our cooking today. I'm going to walk you through our ingredients. So this is an empty pot. I want to use this little pot to saute, just to fry the little stuff and mix it to the rice. It's one pot rice. It's going to be quick. The rice is already pre-boiled. I, I already pre-boiled the rice. So this is the rice already pre boiled So this is going to be our lunch today in the office. So let me leave this on. So let me walk you through what we have here today. Today we want to say a big shout out to all our subscribers and all our followers and viewers. We thank you. For those of you who secretly shared our videos, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Everything in life pays up. It pays you when you're committed. It pays you when you have a dream. When you have a dream, you have, you need people. You need, you need things to walk and, for, and bring that dream to life. Yes, no man is an island. So don't forget. The people you look down on today, you'll be shocked. Never look down on people. Never think because you're on top there, that then other people's life don't matter. If that is you, don't think like that. Life is for everyone. Where you are today is because of the grace of God. And be grateful for every day because it counts. We don't see your heart. You don't see our heart. But what is in your mind matters. I don't know what you think, but it's important. I am a philosopher. I love to talk, to, uh, to talk deep stuff. Parables, deep stuff. I like to hang out with all the people. So share to all our followers and subscribers. Subscribe to the Kindly Crandall Show. If this is your first time of seeing our live video, don't pass by. Stop and go to our YouTube channel, follow us, subscribe. So today, let me walk you through our ingredients. So we have our chopped hot dog. We have some curry powder. We have Ghana pepper, mm -hmm. a little spice. We have this, um, what's this called? Um, well, let me, uh, oyster, oyster sauce. We have a little peanuts. A little green black pepper. We have a garlic and ginger here, an onion, of course. We have some salt right here, and we have some seasoning. So that's the 
So let me start cooking. So this is our pot is hot. Yes, I'm going to add some oil to that quickly. I've always said this. Um, there's no perfect way to cook, except it's a traditional food. Otherwise, even at that, you know, like my local food, we use um, fresh fish and palm oil and fresh pepper to make this sauce. You can actually eat rice with it. You can use swallow to, and then they have a similar kind of food also in the Yoruba area. Now I can use palm oil, if I, sorry, veggie oil to make same sauce if I don't have palm oil. That's what I'm going to. So don't let food, don't let the ingredients you don't have limit you from making what you want to make. That's my point. If you have garlic at home, whatever you have, make use of what you have to fulfill what you want. It's always fun to be behind before the camera, I'm telling you. So our oil is coming out. Thank you for all of you. We secretly shared our videos. Keep watching, keep watching. We are, we do things here spontaneous, yes. I love surprises. I love to do things my way. I don't want to walk in your shadow, if you know what I mean. I don't want to watch, keep, I don't want to do things because of that's how you do it. I want to do things the way I want to do it. Is this your story? So we have our onion, sorry, our garlic. I always like the garlic smell in the oil. It changes everything. The smell in your room, you know, you can fry this and place it in your room, you know? It gives you that calmness. It, you know, it smells so beautiful. The garlic and the oil is beautiful. It's beautiful. So our oil, our garlic is getting a little bit brown. And I'm going to add the ginger to that. So the ginger is in the oil. And then to that, I'm going to throw in our onion. Yeah, I'm going to throw in the onion. We all are born stars. Don't stay there and think, oh, this star shines brighter. I believe in our mindset. I tell you something. If you don't think it, you don't see it. If you don't think it, when, when people commit crime, they think it. When people do good stuff, they think it. Everything in life that we do have to come from the head. You think it. And then when you hear some word, you let the word sit. You think about it. And then good or bad, the word begins to give birth. You begin to nurse it. Now, the time you have, the time you begin to think it, if it's bad, that's the best time to kick it out. But when it stays, it gives birth, then you begin to fulfill what is in your mind. I believe so much in our mindset, and that is what we stand here. That's what gave back to this show. We want to know what people think, how they think, and why they think the way they think. Because it will shock you to know that why they think what they think is what makes them to do what they're doing. Now, if they can have a mind change, it's going to change their actions. So when you point fingers, have you asked yourself, what are they thinking? Why are they doing things like this? Information is our mindset. Our mindset need to be, you need to control your mindset. You need to know, like program your mindset, read stuff, get educated with things that will help you to think right. You come from a certain locality and you don't like how things are done. Now there's a belief that if you do certain things, this is gonna to happen to you. Now you begin to believe and think like that is your mindset. Now when you do the same, that, sec that thing begins to work. It's not because it's, 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 it's not because that is true. It's because you already think 
that that is how it's supposed to be. And that's what you receive. What we think matters a lot, it plays a big role in our life. So we have our onion, we have garlic, we have our ginger in, right? So then I'm gonna throw in our pepper, that's a lot of pepper. Well, this is a lot of rice too. So I'm gonna throw in the black pepper. This is a Ghana pepper. I don't know why they call this Ghana pepper. And then we have our curry powder. I like to make things fast, like everything one pot. You know, so we have this going. And now I'm gonna throw in our seasoning. Mm-hmm. One pot. Everything goes inside. Now at this point, I'm gonna add some water to our already pre-boiled rice. I'm gonna add some water to that. Some water. Let me just take the pot this way so I can add a lot of water. So this is so this is our rice. You see that? This is our rice. It's already washed and pre-cooked. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add our oyster sauce to this to the white rice. And then I'm going to throw in uh, cooked. <coughs> you know, I've liked one thing. When people say you must cook your fried rice or your jello fries by frying this, I'm the type that will say no. There must be another way to cook it, you know. There was one really, or there was one really, really, really religion at the time. They say they used to lick blood. Then I was very, I was in the university. I was curious because the 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 the, the, the thing was everywhere. I was curious, and each person that says it, I ask them, "Have you been there?" They say, "No." Well, that's true now. I said, "Okay." Have you seen it? They say no. I say okay. Now when they sing in church, they say Satan don't fall for a God. I say have, have you seen him before? They say no. I say okay. Me, I'll carry my bag and I'll go to that place to see. That's how I joined a lot of re religion growing up. Why? Curiosity. You know, I don't like when people come tell me. In the way someone comes tell you about somebody or about something, just act as though you are flowing with them by listening. Because when you come to me and you tell me, do you know, do you know, do you know, do you know, do you know? Now, I listen to you. It's not because I believe what you're saying. Well, I'm just listening to you. Things involved is this. You're getting to know who this person is. You understand? You're getting to know who this person is. Like, I don't know if I should move this pot here. I don't know if we have enough time for this. Okay. Because I don't want us to spend more than 20 or 10, 30 minutes. So let's hope that this thing will not take time. So I'm, I'm, I'm listening to you to know the kind of person you are. When people come to you to report or judge other people, don't be quick. Don't be quick to make a conclusion. Listen and ask them questions. Sometimes you don't even need to ask them questions if it's irrelevant. Just listen and let it be. 
But if it's very sensitive, listen, ask questions. Because when they come to tell you in between the lines, you begin to know that they are the problem. It's, it will be so obvious. They are the problem. When you get to know later too, you're not further that. You know, the ones that rush to the police station most times are not the victims. Yes. The ones that quickly go to report to the police. Most cases, they're not the victims. Yeah. Most times, they are the troublemakers that go first to report. So when you see them cry, react, don't, make, don't think that they are the ones that are victims. Wait until you see the other person. And then you now know, wow. So when people come to you, when some, some people say, um, you are a Christian, you need to forgive people. You need to love people. Love is our nature. You have to love people around you, things around you, no barriers. It doesn't matter the religion. You, I don't love you because you're a Christian. I don't love you because, I, and, and then I don't hate you because you're, you're an atheist or you're a Buddhist. No, no. You love everyone. Doesn't matter their race, doesn't matter. But you're not talking about race. When you leave the church of this country, you begin to understand color. The black man can never be accepted. Yes. In certain communities, it doesn't matter who you are. Even in the churches of white people, you can see that they most times they try to separate themselves from the black. But people don't, but you will see it when you are among them, you will know. So back to what I'm talking about. Forgiveness, I know the Bible says you have to forgive. You got, there are some certain things that people do to you in life. You forgive them, but you give them a distance. You forgive them and give them distance. Don't forgive them and still live with them. I give you an instance. I have a family that what they did to my mom is something that I have to tell my children, children, that if in your lifetime you meet this certain of people, don't ever associate yourself with them. Don't eat with them, don't drink with them. That's what I would do. Why? Because the one that brought all of us to life, which is our mother, passed away with the people she thought loved her. If someone can harm your mother, yes, it doesn't matter the stories they're going to tell you. Run away from such people. You cannot harm your mother and want to show you love. People be, I don't know, people, in America you see a woman, a single mother, her boyfriend or a man friend will come and they will harm her child because of sex. And she will go to court and want to defend the boyfriend. I don't know if it's drugs. It happens. It's always on the news. But your mother, even if she's evil, if your mother have people that dealt badly with her and want to show you love as a daughter or as a son, you better be wise as a serpent and run away from such people, no matter what excuses they tell you. And why are you listening to their stories? You don't need to listen, don't listen. If your mom told you and you saw, because I was doing some video, um, I was doing video calls, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be sharing a lot of the stories on Instagram because it's something you wake up to every day, like when you see some things, you want to relate to them. You'll be like, how could people be so wicked? And then you want to have the mouth to explain. And I will explain, it's not what you think. What do you think I think? What do you think I'm thinking? I don't understand. 
You harm your own mother. You harm someone that loves you and you want to explain. And you expect me to listen and wait to listen to your explanation. That's witchcraft. That's witchcraft. You want to manipulate the mind of people. You want to manipulate people. And you're evil. Anyone that hurts your father or your mother, be your uncle, be your aunt, and today your parents are no more, and they want to love you because of what you have. They want to praise you. You know, you're foolish if you go and hang out with people that have hands in the debt of your parents. Yes, you are very stupid because they will do the same to you and it might be worse. Yes, and when you're dead, your spirit will not come to fight. When you're dead, you're dead. So be wise. Don't say this person is my uncle. No, don't do that. Ask yourself questions. What have they done to you? What have they done for you? What have they, have, what positive thing have they, have they even given you a good advice? As simple as that is. Have they bought you a pen before? Now they have stories to come and manipulate your mind to make you feel like now they are going to church or they are changed, they have repented. Let it be to their God. You forgive them and go your way. If you don't want to reconcile with people, your mind is made up. I've forgiven you sincerely, but you don't want to do any, have anything to do with them. Don't try to go for a reconciliation meeting with them. Because what is the purpose of the reconciliation? The purpose is to make peace. The purpose is to live together again. If, if your mind is made up, my mind is made up, anyone that is related to my mom, anyone that is related to my father, except my younger brother, physically and spiritually, I have no connection with you. I have nothing to do with you. I don't know you, you don't know me. If I talk and share the stories, I might talk about incidences and call your name or describe you, but does it mean because I need to share the story. But if you are in this situation, like I am talking about now, forgive them and go away. Don't go fighting over your father's property when you know you have enough. These people are very diabolic, they are very fetish, and they're evil. Someone is dying in your front, and the person is not carrying any property, and you are living physically, trying to kill for the same property that you did not fucking build. Ah, it's sad. You don't know how the land was bought, you don't know how the house was built, now the person that built it is dead and you are fighting over it. People are wicked. And most times is your family members. Family. Family is, I don't know, family, terrible. Terrible. I'm trying to make this thing faster so it can come to the gas because this we're going to be here for another 20 minutes. So let me just put it here so you just see me talking. Because I'm going to be sharing stories in our kitchen sections. Reality check. Things that we run away from. People will say, oh, it's my family. And you know, I grew up with them. I cannot do without them. If you see traces that they are planning to bring you down, you better run away. People think going to the village and showing off your cars, what you have, is an achievement. No, it's not. 
Celebrate with people that love you. Celebrate with people that like what you're doing. Celebrate with such people. Run away from people that always question your happiness. Run away from people that will always want to know why you're smiling. Anything you say that is good, they want to find a fault. Run away from them. I am telling you, when you're dead, you're gone. Is as this, there is nothing you can do about it. People that are bringing you down, run away from them. It's as simple. Sometimes people go to church, you're doing prayer points to change someone's mind. Oh God, I pray my family will be united. Oh, you will pray fire, fire. That's your prayer, is a stupid prayer. Sorry to say, it will not be answered. Yes. Because they are the ones that need to pray that prayer to be good people. You cannot be praying for your uncle to repent. You leave your uncle where he is. Change your mindset and go forward. Don't be carrying your wealth. You are old now today. I'm a graduate. I just finished my youth service. You now carry your certificate and go to the village. Before you know, you cannot come again to the city. You now become a village boy. That's Africa for you. You now go to that same uncle that your mom have told you. This your uncle is not good though. You now, you think you're a modern boy. You're a modern girl, you now go. Let us be wise. Let us be wise. We're not saying people, but let me tell you, people are wicked. And most of these people are our relatives. Most of these people think they know you too much. And they know how to manipulate your mind. They know how to manipulate you. You know, when you were small, it was me that was carrying you. You know, it was me that was doing this. You know, it was me that went to get your farm for you to start school. That's why I still call you uncle or aunt. Do you understand? Let's be wise. Anyway, coming out of this whole emotion, I saw this video of this man that stole money in this airline. Oh my God, this is sad. Allegedly, it is so sad. This man looks very responsible and the camera cut him. But without the camera, if you see him, you won't even imagine. This is someone's father. It's so sad, it's so sad. Why can't you travel by road? You fly and then you stole money. Why? That money you stole, you don't know if it's someone's, you know, someone's hard money. Maybe the person is taking it to their family to treat or to do something. I mean, everyone is trying to be something. Everyone is trying hard to have it, you know, to get things working. It's so sad. I understand the situation, but not, you know, there's a level of things, you know, there's a level you get to in life, you know, you become responsible. Even if you know you have, you consciously be responsible. Now imagine the disgrace. Probably he has been doing it in the secret. Now today, see, all the, all, now all eyes have seen it. Everyone will now know. And thank God he is not a woman. You know, because I'm, I'm, I can imagine, maybe by now they would have taken off all our clothes. But he's a man, they didn't take off all the clothes. They only opened his wallet. You know, if he's a woman, there's one hotel in Delta State. Um, they, I think they stole 10,000 naira, one peanut money. The man, all the ladies, all the cleaners, all the ladies took off their clothes, they were naked. These are murders. They took off, they were only wearing bra and underwear. And this is a billionaire. You see? When women is involved, they want to naked them. When women is involved, you understand? There's one particular tribe, when, when, when men go for arm robbery, they tell them he went for business. Anyway, business trip don't cast. Guys, we're still in the kind, we're still in the kitchen, y'all. Making rice, so. Today, the weather started 
cold, raining. I, I, I don't know where they're watching us from, but let us know what you want us to add to what we do. Don't forget we have our girl chat on Tuesdays. We have our section here on Wednesdays. We are on the streets on Thursdays. And from next week, we're gonna be going to the streets more often. We have our spaces for rental, visit our site. And we have our services, we do cover event. You can be a guest on the show to test, to cook, to be on our show. If you have a story that you feel people are gonna laugh at you when you tell one person, be bold enough to come share your story. Let the world know and learn from you. It will give you more confidence. You understand? When you sit down and watch other people live their life on the television, on social media, telling their stories, and you just sit back there commenting, how do you, I, I mean, and you know you have something to share. You know you have a story, you know you have something that's eating you up. Come and share your story. Come and share your story. Good stories, bad stories, come share. We're here to listen. And the world will listen and learn from you. Gone are the days when people condemn you. People don't know what's, what happened. You were there. Tell the story in your own way, the truth. When you're gone, somebody else will tell the story and it might not be the truth. My mom died today and her story is not told. So I'm going to tell her story. Yeah, I'm going to tell because truth is constant. When someone tells, you know, keeps saying one thing the same way, it's truth. Truth is constant. She was born, beautiful woman. She suffered from marital abuse, from problems, oh my God, to the one she gave birth to. You know, hatred, in-laws, hatred. And my late mom is someone that is very bold. Like she puts her nose where she's not even supposed to put. She will fight for everyone. That's the kind of person she is. And there's no one like her today in the family. They've all gone. She will put her nose. Anyone that wanted to get married then, she's the one that will provide the rappers. She'll be the one who run around. Now you think such person, everybody will love them, right? So it's not in your goodness. It's for you to look and watch. Those that actually love you, stick with them. Those that judge you every time, run, run from them. Run from them. Because they'll bring you down. I'm telling you. First hand information. Run from them. Don't compromise. Run. We're making rice with Oziza leaf. That's our Oziza leaf. This is our parsley. So we're making Oziza rice with a little twist. So you think it's fried rice, but it's not fried rice. Don't forget to subscribe to the Kine Crown the Show. We are here because of you. I'm just eating on the peanuts, I don't know. So, we heard there's gonna be strike. We pray that God actually, and will definitely intervene in this country because this country has gone beyond like when you travel to other countries, even African countries, you'll be wondering when you come in, like why is this place like this? You know, why? And you cannot know the why except you trace it to the root. So, birth, people have given birth, hands have changed hands. People just sit down and decide what the economy should be without caring about the people. And 
I don't know if there's a force in the in the in I mean in the system or that makes even the good ones with good intention when they go there they get infected because you wonder that some people are Christians even pastors at least they have been able to go to the top as senators vice president and you were thinking that there will be some powerful changes in the you know well it's not happening it's not happening why don't you see their children in uk with a lot of money in their account so they are still going through the same thing you see the ex-governors ex-president what they do is to enforce people their children to occupy positions even when they know that they are not qualified so there is no um it's even trump that has all the money he has a vision for the country yeah putin now african government african president africans now have taken putin why i don't know if it's because he's, he's, he's very powerful but he has a vision he has a vision very powerful vision and now he's coming to africa he ha he's on a mission Africans, I don't know what mission and vision Nigeria have. Our leaders, I don't know what vision and mission they are having or they have. You just know that when, when you are appointed, people just come and say, congrats. Don't forget to, don't forget. All you think about is how to loot, carry, carry, carry. That is it. That is it. Now, if you're not a politician, because I want an appointment, yes. If you're not a politician, then you have to be a pastor. You understand? You have to be a pastor. Because when you are a pastor and you know how to, do you understand? You know how to now, they all mimic each other. You understand? They know how to talk, and then you have a good hype man. And then you begin to talk on your pulpit. They don't preach the gospel anymore. They are not motivational speakers. Now they, they, come, they come in a way of uh, motivational speakers, soothsayers, politicians, and they just speak some things that don't have to do with the Bible. What is a pastor bringing a woman out on the, on, in the congregation and touching her bum and preaching? What, ha what has that got to do with preaching? Then to now go viral. A pastor will stay there and say, if you don't bring enough money to this altar, you will not be blessed. And people are coming out with all their money. And when they go home, they don't have food to eat. And the man of God is there enjoying his life. Giving his wife a million naira or more for a month for feeding. When you go to a house of a man of God house, you see how they're living like, I don't know. And then you that is, you know, a worker or a member you're trekking. You don't even have a bike. And then what I don't really like is when members go to church and churches will not pay you. Yes, I don't support that. That I don't support. Churches will not pay you. They make you walk, full walk. You see some people that are serving the pastor's wife. They wash her clothes, iron her clothes, carry the babies, go to the market, they, they don't give them nothing. They are just happy that, that, that they're serving man. Uh, I'm serving my pastor. I'm a Christian, though. Yes. Yes. I believe in God very well. But some things are not right. People will come to your house. They will wash, wash everything. You will not put them on a salary, even if it's peanuts. No. And they're happy that they are working with pastor. From the house, they'll come to church. They'll be in church till night. They'll come again in the morning. But when they have financial need, when they come to you, you will not be there for them. There was a young man that was doing this for a church, and he went to school, and the pastor refused to pay his tuition. Yes. He had to hustle in school, around school, to make money to pay his tuition. And he had been the one handling the church both the uh, media, he's in pastor's house cleaning, he's a pastor's boy, and pastor could not answer him when he's in school. 
These men are men. It's only us that see them as something else. If God places in your mind to bless your man of God, go ahead. But let them stop to manipulate people. And don't be manipulated. Do what you want to do. Don't be used. If you're jobless, go and look for a job. Don't go to your pastor's house and be washing his clothes and be serving him like houseboy. He will not give you food. You will just be there only. You only eat one meal a day. Yes. Pastor will not come. You will not be here. You will not be on your, on your knees. Most of them are sleeping with all these women. I don't know. These things are frustrating. Because all these things cause problems in our society. You go to church, you cannot get help. In America, on Sundays and week service, you get food stuff. People come. Those, as you serve, they have cooked food in some churches every Sunday. In my church, we have coffee, we have donuts, we have cookies for breakfast. That is before you enter the church. So that you can be able to be alert to listen in case you didn't eat at home. There's coffee. There. And then as church is closing, everybody have, you have to line up and come from the kitchen. There's cooked food. There's a menu. Everybody, every Sunday. I'm not telling you one Sunday. In Houston, every Sunday. Now, some people can be coming to that church because of the food. And God will win their hearts. And they'll be feeling love because they understand. Now, when I have, I have to also share. Because it's a message that is your, that, that you're passing. You're teaching your members on the word. And you're showing them practically what it is like. Muslims practice Christian life. And Christians practice the devil life. So I don't know which one. The real bad pastors today, people don't even know them. Because they're hidden. They're somewhere in the forest. Missionaries somewhere suffering. If you see real men of God, their shoes are torn. No one will really believe of them. You understand? You go, you can go to the pastor. Pastors will announce, we have three people here that their tuitions are not paid. We want volunteers to privately send message to the pastor to pay someone tuition in the church. That is how it's supposed to be. Family, that is your church, is your family. You understand? It's your family. God help me to have this outreach because I'm going to have people eat and be happy. Yes, it's important. You go to church, you cannot even express your problem because you don't want people to laugh at you because that is what the church stands for. It represents the big and mighty. So you cannot even, you have to go and wear your best even though you're suffering. You trek from Maraba to Joss to go to church. You're not trek back, but then you get on your, no, you don't even have one more water to drink. Pastor will preach and preach before they'll give him cold water, they'll give him wine, they'll give him this. Before he comes, they'll carry him on the chair, they'll carry the children, they'll carry first lady. They are God. They are meant to serve you as the members. Jesus came, he washed our feet. That is how it's supposed to be. They're supposed to wash the feet of the members. They're supposed to wipe the tears of the members. They're supposed to meet the members at their need. The churches today are opening schools, having businesses, and making the members to buy. It's sad. It's so sad. It's so sad. It's so sad. It's so sad. This is heartbroken. I'm telling you. Members will come and serve you. Members will come and uh, they must patronize your business. I saw a pastor cursing out the members for not giving. He opened the offering box and was cursing people that were giving 100 naira to service. How could you? How could you? I know they say leave men and go to, to God. I don't care how, you, how they make their power. But I'm just talking about their relationship with the members of, of, of the church. That's what I'm talking about. You know? That's what I'm talking about. It's really sad. It's really sad. People cannot go to church again and, and express and talk about their problems because nobody will listen to them. Nobody will listen to them. Nobody. 
Everybody will be like, oh, it's well, it's well, it's well, brother, it's well, it's well. How are you? Oh, I'm favored, I'm favored. You're dying. Before you see a man of God that you see in your church as your pastor, you need to go and feel form, follow protocol. Do not see pastor like God. God help us, please. God help us. Our rice is ready. We're going to be making food. This show is going to give birth to an outreach. We pray that money comes in. So we're going to make this happen by the power of God. We have to, as we speak, we have to teach pastors and leaders how to treat people. There are bad people all over the world and there are good people. You need to know how to treat people. We build out, they build churches with the people's money. They build the schools with the people's money. You open businesses with the people's money. And you force them to patronize you. And you don't have a way to give back. Very few men of God, very few understand what it is to be a man of God. Very, because you're like a father, a father to all, a father to all, all. It's not like you're going to solve all the problems, but to some extent, those monies that are being brought to church, some pastors in there doing their babies, the monies that they receive is in millions. People just give them, give them, give them, give them, give them. And they just travel, 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 travel when you can actually organize food, clothing, basic amenities for people to be happy. People come to crusade, they enter, they want to know how much has been given, how much has been raised. It's not okay. <laughs> the life is all about manipulations. Manipulations manipulate the mind of people and make them feel like something is wrong with them. I saw this news online, how this pastor ripped off a lady that had cancer, few days, few years to die. How could you? Guys, today I don't know, I've been so emotional. I was not like this when I came to the kitchen, but I don't know why I'm talking about all this. I did not plan to talk about this. But you know, I'm called to actually be a voice for people, yes. And that God will help me to fulfill. So our rice is ready. And it will be that time to test. Let me see if we're still on time. Yeah, so we're done with our lunch. So let me just. Love, our food is ready for picture. Picture, picture, picture. So this I will just, let me see how I'm gonna do this one. Mm.
Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Anyway. Our food is ready. We are done with our lunch today. Thank you for staying tuned to this time. We appreciate your time. And we know because you like what we're cooking and what we're doing as you're here till this time. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're having our summer training for um, ages um, 10 to 17 also open for adults we train you on media on how to use the camera on how to edit on how to video and how to do anything media also businesses for children and also for adults we train you on how to start your business and then train you the format on your businesses so we have these courses and they are right now ongoing so subscribe and find us our numbers are out there so you can get to know all the details on how to be part of this program. Don't forget, we are in Abuja, in your community. So if you're in Abuja, you want to join us, you're welcome. To all our subscribers, you are welcome. It's going to be time for testing after the pictures. If your hands are not busy and your mouth is worthy, it's time for testing. Let's test this food because we want to find out the salt, the pepper, everything, if it's okay. So guys, if you enjoy this food and you want to try it out, I told you, you can use anything you have. Make your simple food and enjoy yourself. As simple as that. Please sit down and test this food. Let us know, let us know, let us know, let us know. I don't have a fucking. Let us know, let us know. It's hot. I, I don't want to break this thing. It's balanced. How is the other sauce? Mm -hmm. It tastes nice. It, it makes it taste different. It tastes different. From a no, normal yeah, rice, yeah, right? No, normal rice. It gives you this local taste. This is like, I can call it a traditional rice. Right? So, this, so we just made tra traditional right. Ozuza rice. <laughs> Guys. Flavor with the soy sauce. Inside. Mm -hmm. Okay. The with the oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We want to have a toast today, right now. Quickly, guys. Come, 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 come. Everyone come, please. For those of you that can come now, quickly. Those of you that are close by. Where, if you're around, just, if you're close by, just come. Let's, let's have a quick taste and, and um, toast. Come, 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 a quick toast. Please, please, for those that are close by, yes, just a quick toast. 
When you see, when you celebrate small things, big things come. Yes, sir. You understand? Let's go. And sometimes, some things you call small things are actually big things. So we want to have a toast today. Miss Esther, you're going to say what we're toasting for. Okay. So, with a loud voice, we're toasting for two. We just um, reached a milestone on our YouTube um, for a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours, mm. which makes us um, eligible for monetization. So we're having a toast for that. Yeah. Hey! Hi. Celebration will always be happening here. Nice. Thank you. It's all because you. of you. Thank you. What do you have to say? Mm, it's a good thing. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I wish there was more great things I had. Yeah. Yeah. Keep watching. We love you guys. All right, guys, you had it, it all. It possible for I really us. appreciate you guys for Thank always so watching, watching our watching video. Our video. Yeah. Subscribe and keep following us on all our social media yeah, platforms. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye for now.